Amos decided to transfer lobsters from one island to the other to see what happened. In all, a thousand lobsters were collected for the experiment. They were then transferred to the boat and without hesitation, the crew set off for Marcus, four kilometers away. On reaching Marcus, the lobsters were immediately released and after an initial period of bewilderment, they began scuttling off to find shelter. Within five minutes, this specimen found a convenient hole and occupied it. It soon settled in and made itself at home. It then sat back to survey the menu. Everything seemed to be going fine when suddenly the lobster abandoned the hole, a whelk attached to its side. It retreated, desperately trying to shake the whelk off, and settled in a hollow, writhing, as the whelk's digestive juices burnt into its flesh. Unaccustomed to being preyed upon by whelks, the lobster was unable to defend itself. Similar attacks were being made on all the other lobsters. Whenever they stopped moving, the whelks piled onto their legs, weighing them down. The lobsters retreated again and again, but were unable to escape from the whelks' relentless pursuit. Fifteen minutes later, all thousand lobsters were immobilized as the whelks' digestive juices penetrated their shells and ate away their innards. The scavengers had become the predators. The smell of blood in the area soon attracted other predators. After 30 minutes, all that remained of the lobsters were whelk-covered shells on the seabed. 40 minutes after the lobsters were released, the whelks abandoned the empty skeleton. 